Hi, this is Joe Savala with the Blue and Error Corporation, and in this video we'll be showing you how to change the seal kit, stack kit, and O-rings on a Grunfoss medium CR pump. To start, we will remove the coupling guards. and we'll remove the other coupling guard as well. Once the coupling guards have been removed, we'll go ahead and remove the coupling there will be four bolts, two on either side. Just completely remove those and set them aside. And once the coupling bolts are removed, go ahead and pry the two halves apart. And I have to give this one a little tap. Now that we've removed the coupling, the next step will be to remove the four motor bolts. There's two here. the other two on the other side. The next step will be to remove the motor from the motor stool. Be sure to use proper lifting techniques, as the larger horsepowers do get very heavy. Once you have the motor off, we'll just put it aside and get back to it in a little while. To remove the shaft seal, we'll start by taking out these three set screws. Just, just, just loosen them, don't need to be removed. and we'll pull out the shaft pin. With the set screws loosened, we'll use a 41 millimeter socket to loosen the shaft seal. And when it's been loosened enough, just pull it straight up off of the shaft. If you'll be changing the stack kit and O-rings on the pump, go ahead and click here for that portion of the video. Otherwise, just go ahead and press play. Okay, and now for the rest of the reassembly of the pump. At this point, we're ready to install the new mechanical seal. Be sure to lubricate the pump shaft with soapy water. And when you push the seal down, be sure to push on the round piece rather than the hex head. 
and just push that as far as you can down. Tighten it by hand and we'll come back and torque it. The proper torque value for these shaft seals would be 26 foot-pounds. At this point, the next step is to set the shaft height. For this one, what we'll do is uh, reinsert the shaft pin. Uh, you'll see there's a little bit of play. You can lift the shaft up a little and we'll go back down. For this one, be sure it's all the way to the, to the bottom. And then begin to tighten these set screws here. We'll just go around, start a little bit of force on each one and then go back around and tighten them fully. And then to actually set the height we'll use this key which would be uh, ought to be clipped to the inside of your coupling guard. Just if you read it does say up just place it under the round part on the shaft seal. Just lift up and slide it in. Now if your pump has a spacer between the motor seat and the motor, go ahead and place that there now. And be sure to line up the motor bolt holes. Now I've brought the motor in, but I haven't quite set it down in its seat. I left just enough gap, that way I can move it around to locate the motor holes. Uh, just take one or two bolts and bring it through and just by hand tighten it that way you've located where the holes are uh, the whole way and once you've gotten a couple in there just go ahead and lower it the rest of the way with the motor set all the way down on its seat we'll go ahead and torque down the motor bolts Now with the shaft key in place, we can go ahead and install the two coupling halves. Uh, be sure that if your motor has a keyway cut into it, that it meets up on the inside of a coupling half rather than where the two meet. So we'll just... And also there's a small cutaway where the shaft pin needs to sit in, which you can see right here. Just begin inserting the bolts. Continuing on to the other side. get them started. And the ideal way to have these together is to have this gap between the two coupling halves as close to equal as possible. Yeah, You'll have to go back and forth tightening one side then the other trying to keep that reasonably close. And with the bolts partially tightened, we'll go ahead and come through and torque them to the proper specification. Uh, as always, be sure to work in a diagonal pattern. And 
just want to check that one just to be sure. All right, once the halves are tightened together and torqued down, we'll go ahead and remove the key. Our final step will be to replace the coupling guards. Before you put the last one on, be sure to put your shaft key on the back side of one of the coupling guards. And we're done.